Hello my darlings, as it is my birthday month, I think it's a perfect time for me to share all the fragrances from one of my favorite fragrance houses and that is Asian Provocateur. But before we get into it, if you don't know who I am, my name is Ijama. I'm a beauty lover, a skincare influencer, a pro makeup artist and a woman of a certain age. And I feel like all those things give me an authority to do what I'm doing on my channel. So we are not going to dilly dally, we are going to jump straight into it. Let's start with the original. This is Asian Provocateur, Asian Provocateur. This is predominantly a rose fragrance, but it is not a dainty little thing. No, 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 no. Somewhat sharp, somewhat dry. It's one of my favorite fragrances. It is a classic for me. It is something I have worn for over a decade. It was one of my first grown woman fragrances, absolutely sexy. I have so many beautiful memories attached to this. I have gone through several bottles. I will always wear this for as long as I find it. Some of the notes in this are saffron, rose, vetiver, jasmine, musk and amber. Somewhat polarizing. Some people love it. Some people hate it. I'm obviously one of the people who love it. I repeat, she is not a dainty rose, but she's one hella stubborn girl. There's something very headstrong about this, considering that it's a rose fragrance. And I think it's the saffron and the vetiver. Just, you just give it that punch that I love so much about this fragrance. Now, Asian Provocateur does come in a purse spray form. Currently, I don't have one in my collection. I have run out of it, but I do have the purse spray for my dress and it looks exactly like this but the bottle is pink and the little dust bag that comes with it is black so when you do see this fragrance it is not different it smells exactly the same it is simply the purse spray since we mentioned matress let's talk about her fabulous as well this is also one of my faves a warm powdery sensual scent i absolutely love this mm, really really pretty there's ylang ylang in this is irish there's jasmine the suede there's musk and cedar and for me what stands out is the iris the ylang ylang and the suede making it powdery making it sweet making it a little bit fuzzy something very comfortable and grown woman and I know who I am kind of situation and I don't need to overperform. That's what Maitress gives me. Those are the vibes of Maitress. This in the winter is absolutely stunning. It also works during the hot weather, but better in the winter. Also a fave and as I had mentioned, this also does come in the purse spray and this is the purse spray of this baby such a cute situation imagine just taking this out from your handbag and bam 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 people think oh look at her she's all gathered <laughs> another one of my favorites i absolutely love that fragrance i also think it's like perfect for like a leather jacket there's just something about it that just says i belong on a good expensive sweater thrown on top leather jackets yes 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 now Maitress does have a flanker and this is the EDT. The one I just showed you is the EDP. And what I love about this EDT, it's it's a complete departure from the big sister. It's something very fresh, very different. Some of the notes are Granny Smith Apple, Grapefruit, Ylang Ylang, Mimosa, Iris, Tonka, Musk and Cedar very fresh it is one of those florals as well that really shines in the winter this is absolutely stunning in the winter but it does not perform well in the summer it just fizzes out immediately beautiful thing i love that it's a departure from the big sister it is so fresh so pretty mm, i absolutely love that i i need to think if i need a backup of this i really need to give that a good thought next up is blue silk now for me blue silk is very different from a lot of the fragrances in asian provocateur 
it's very fresh it's very laundry like it's very i don't feel like it's a sensual fragrance which is quintessentially the style of asian provocateur after all it's a lingerie brand but i do think it was a clever addition mm, very fresh somewhat sweet from the cinnamon there's also rose and sandalwood in this vetiver juniper and lemon the juniper makes it bright and open so does the lemon and there's something about this that just tells me starch i feel like this belongs on a white shirt like if you go to an expensive dry cleaner this is what your clothes will smell afterwards i also feel like it's a nice white t-shirt fragrance like a feminine white t-shirt fragrance it's not one of my favorites from the line because the sweetness in it is it's it's very borderline getting stuck at the back of your throat regardless i think it's rather lovely if you don't over spray it, just spray enough i think it works best in the spring autumn season not too hot not too cold it's all right if you like clean fresh laundry scents that have a bit of a sweetness a bit of a citrusy vibe to them i think you will enjoy blue silk i think so i keep forgetting to mention all the bottles do come with this little clip stopper i don't know how to describe it but it just stops the spray bottle from spraying any howly really cute addition now this is Le Urgent. This is something very similar to the original Asian Provocateur, the first one that I had talked about. But it's much sweeter, much denser, much smokier, maybe even a little bit more sensual. I absolutely love the notes in this. There's ylang ylang, there's pink pepper, there's tuberose, there's incense and myrrh and amber and musk. And it's that incense, it's a tuberose, it's a myrrh, just, just adding a really nice sweet smokiness to this fragrance. I remember when I first got this fragrance, I thought it had berries in it because there's almost a juiciness to this, a tartness to this, really pretty thing, smells incredibly expensive. Out of all the fragrances in Asian Provocateur, I would say this is definitely unisex. I would love to smell this on a man. A very clever addition to the line. It does remind me very much so of the original, but it also shows that the creators of the fragrances from Asian Provocateur decided, you know what? We still have something more to give. We're still going to keep creating fragrances. And this is very, very nice. Mm, very nice now Le Jeant has a flanker and this as well is a EDT the big sister is the EDP this is Le Jeant ou provocateur and once again they were clever enough to take a complete departure I absolutely love it when fragrance creators don't create flankers that are similar to the original it's fine to be inspired but give us something different you know now this really surprised me really really surprised me it has green notes and bergamot this peach this magnolia this rose and patchouli another grown-up light floral scent that works absolutely beautiful in the winter once again another edt from the line that does not work in the summer it completely fizzles out so to enjoy this you need to wear it in the cold weather you really get the green notes and the bergamot absolutely fresh and beautiful the magnolia is there smells incredibly elegant it reminds me of silk robes i don't know why but it just reminds me of silk robes i love this fragrance beautiful thing slightly difficult to find but you can find it if you're determined mm. Mm, mm, mm nice the green notes they're beautiful in this now that i mentioned difficult fragrances to find let's talk about one that is a unicorn this is strip now thankfully strip doesn't smell unique enough to feel like you're missing something out 
What this really reminds me of is Taboo from Dana. It dries down so similar to Taboo. So if you had Taboo, you kind of don't need this, but this is still really lovely. It's not as heavy as Taboo. It's not animalic at all, but very beautiful at the same time. Some of the notes in this are bergamot, ylang ylang, oris, amber, and oak moss. You definitely get the oris, you definitely get the oak moss. The ylang ylang is there. Smells very beautiful in the cold weather. This on a sweater, oh, oh, you just smell like a sweet, lovely thing. Very grateful I was able to find it, despite it being a unicorn. But as I had said, I don't think it's worth hunting down. Just get you a bottle of Taboo and you will get a very similar experience. Next up is Miss AP. And for me, Miss AP is slightly forgettable, but that's just a personal thing. Let me explain. Now to me, Miss AP is a lighter version of Le Urgent. As I had mentioned, Le Urgent is very sexy, very smoky, very mysterious. This is much lighter, much fresher, much open. So for me, for my personal tastes, I like Le Urgent a little bit more. But if you don't like heavy, dense florals, you want something a little bit more lighter, a little bit more open, a little bit more brighter, then Miss AP is definitely the one to go for. Some of the notes in this are ylang ylang, rose, patchouli, sandalwood, and you get all of that. The ylang ylang is gorgeous in this, the rose is pretty, the patchouli is just enough, the sandalwood adds that woodiness, a soft, pretty, sweet woodiness. Very nice, but as I said, for my personal taste, I find Miss AP a little bit forgettable in this line. I feel like Lo Jean stands out a little bit more. But as I said, if you don't like it too smoky, Miss AP is the one for you. Next up is one of my favorites from the line. This is Petal Noir. Now, Petal Noir, <sighs> she's young she's fun she's also serious a little bit she is a girl who's coming into her own that's what petal noir is for me i feel like this was the fragrance they made to satisfy the middle eastern market there is something that smells like rich arab girl going shopping in harrods you know, she shops at the cool brands like Balenciaga. Nothing too serious, nothing like Chanel. No, 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 no. You know, she's cool. You know, she doesn't take herself too seriously. But she knows what she likes. A very beautiful floral. Some of the notes in this are magnolia, rose, hyacinth, neroli. There's leather, there's tobacco, there's oak moss, there's ginger. There are quite a few notes in this fragrance, but it doesn't smell busy. It all comes together very well. The neroli is there. The ginger makes it a little bit tart, a little bit fresh. The leather gives it something. The tobacco also gives it something. I think out of the range, it is one of the most elegant out of the range. It is also another fragrance that belongs in cooler weather. I would say spring, I would say autumn. This will fizzle out in the summer. I feel like this fragrance is one that may have taken a little bit of time to create. There's a lot of intention in it. It just smells really, really good. It really does. For floral, it packs a punch and I love florals that behave in the winter because sometimes in the winter, you don't want to wear something heavy. You want to you want to wear something that uplifts you, that makes you feel bright. And, you know, Petal Noir does that so, so well. Mmm. Winter date night. Spring date night. Yes, yes, yes. Now, the last of the fragrances that I own from All The Eggs, this is Lace Noir. Now, I have a little sample bottle of this. I found a gift set on eBay and I thought this was a perfect way to try this fragrance before buying the big bottle. Now Lace Noir is the vanilla 
offering from Asian Provocateur. It smells like a pretty vanilla scent and that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. We know girls love vanilla. Some of the notes in this are pink pepper, rose, tuberose, coconut, vanilla and patchouli. It doesn't smell that complex. What I mainly get from this is the vanilla and the coconut and a touch of the tuberose. It's not one of the most groundbreaking fragrances in this line. If you have a solid part of your collection that is predominantly vanilla, you do not need this fragrance. But if the notes call to you, you know, tuberose, vanilla, coconut, if they call to you, then maybe you may want to check this out. I feel like it's an all year round fragrance as well. I have worn it in the summer, I have worn it in the winter and it was okay, but it dries down into a forgettable vanilla for me anyway it's not groundbreaking and i don't think it's worth hunting down but that's just my personal opinion. now let's quickly talk about the eggs that i don't have now i used to have cosmic and cosmic was simply not for me i feel like it was a fragrance that was created for the young girl it's very fruity very fun very light some of the notes in it were rhubarb, there was pear, there was peony, there was cedar as well in it. It just didn't work for me. I read quite a few reviews on that website that I can never say and a lot of people compared it to one of Ariana Grande's fragrances. I believe it's Cloud. Once again, I'll confirm on the screen. It was simply just not for me. But quite a few people seem to also like it. Maybe you can go on that website and read the reviews and see if it's worth hunting. I really do fancy trying electric. That is definitely on my radar. I believe it has a lime note and I really like the sound of that. I might get that to try in the summertime. Lime just sounds like it is perfect in the summer. I do not think I have any fragrances that have a dominant lime note. So I'm looking forward to trying that one. And last and certainly not least, I do have a tester sample of Ooh, emotional now that's another unicorn that you cannot find i have tried everything and once again i am not going to kill myself i was lucky enough to be gifted this by a fragrance lover and the wild thing is i have a feeling this is a fragrance that i will really love very fresh i also have a feeling this is a spring and autumn type of situation it's an aromatic fragrance. Some of the notes in this are some of my favorite. There's coriander in this, there's rosemary in this, there's ylang ylang, there's gardenia, and there's musk. It just sounds perfect for spring, but as I said, a girl is not going to kill herself when it comes to unicorn hunting. If it is meant to be in my collection, it will find its way into my collection. Very fresh, very interesting take. There's something about this that kind of reminds me of blue silk. Could be that rosemary note. But it is well. We move on. And that's that. That's my entire collection of Asian Provocateur, particularly the eggs. I've also shared my thoughts on some of the eggs that I don't have and those that I hope to have. I hope you find some value in this video so you can do a little bit of happy shopping. Make sure to wish me a happy birthday. It is my birthday month. <laughs> I will make sure to leave my March Diary series down below in the description box. This is a series that has been inspired by the fact that March is my birthday month. I've had so much fun and I am absolutely grateful that you have spent some time with me. Thank you so much for being here. My name is Ijama and I'll see you soon.